Welcome back everyone, it's Halo 4 Tutor with my very first Halo 4 multiplayer gameplay commentary including my signature tips and tricks that you can use to start winning more games right away to get an upper hand over your opponents. You're going to have a lot more fun and I've got so many incredible tips and tricks ready to go so I'm just going to jump right in, we're going to get started. Uh, so I'm playing my very first map, I think the map is complex here. And uh, it's a four-on-four four, uh, Slayer type of game. And, uh, you know, I've just got so much stuff to just kind of introduce you to. And so we're going to brush on a lot of different things quickly. And then I'll go into more depth in future videos. So the first thing you want to do before you even play your very first game is you need to go into the Start menu and choose a controller configuration that works for you. Um, you know, the default controller configuration was not my, uh, you know, preferred configuration so I went in and changed it to recon that's the one that I'm comfortable with that's the one that I like to use but there are several different configurations available and you don't need to just go with the uh, the one the default that that you're that you're given you can go in and change that to one that you're very comfortable with so that's the very first thing you want to do before you play and then if you're not sure which one you want to go with, you know, maybe try out a couple different configurations, uh, you know, switch them out uh, in between games and figure out which one that you're more comfortable with, which one you like the best. So that's number one. Number two, let me go over the uh, HUD display here, which is what you see on the screen and just kind of walk you through a couple things. Uh, in the upper right hand corner, that's your weapon that tells you how much ammunition you have, whether you need to reload and so forth. I'm not going to go into too much information there right now. Uh, top center of the screen you see your shields and a big difference between Halo Reach and Halo 4 is in Reach there was health packs and uh, health uh, bars and here in Halo 4 it's just your shields and no health, no health packs and let me tell you your shields can be taken down very very quickly you can be killed in the blink of an eye let me tell you guys you can be killed in this game much much faster than Reach most of the weapons don't have any bloom on them and they will take you down very very quickly so that means you're going to need to uh, play a very balanced game you need to concentrate on both offensive and defense strategies and you're going to need to take cover if you're taking shots okay now if you're in a one-on-one -on -one situation you think you have the upper hand that's fantastic but if you're sitting out there in the open if you're not paying attention i'm going to tell you now you're going to be killed very quickly before you even know what hit you all right, so that's something to keep in mind. Uh, upper left-hand corner, you see the grenades available. Uh, down in the lower uh, left-hand corner, you've got your radar, and that's going to be a very useful tool, especially as you're playing new maps where you're not uh, very familiar with uh, where you're going or what's around you. That radar is going to be very, very helpful, so make sure that you're using it, okay? Um uh, right above the radar, you see a little box with kind of a, a circle that's making its way around that box. Now, what that is, is that is a uh, ordinance drop, right? And as I continue to kill and earn assists and kills, uh, I'm earning points. And those points are uh, creating that little loop around the box. And once that loop is complete, then I'm prepared for an ordinance drop, okay? And uh, what that means, I'm going to be able to choose between a couple different power-ups and weapons. And whichever one I choose is going to drop down on the screen right in front of me. Okay? And this is a new feature. It's really kind of interesting. It, it's going to change the way that you play the game a little bit. Uh, so let me tell you, you want to keep an eye on that ordinance drop. And when it does, it does become available and you make your selection, it's going to drop wherever you're looking. Okay? That's very important. So you want to make sure to either look at the ground or look at uh, like a wall right in front of you, okay? If you um, you know are looking off on the horizon or you're not paying attention, that thing can drop uh, nowhere near you. And what's going to happen is your opponents are going to be able to pick up your ordnance drop and steal those power-ups from you. You do not want that to happen. So make sure that you're very careful about where you drop your ordinances, okay? That's, that's a very critical component of the game. Uh, the other thing to keep in mind is if you notice that your opponents have thrown down an ordinance that they did not pick up go ahead and steal it I do that a couple times in this game and it does provide an advantage so that's kind of the way the ordinances work I'm gonna get a lot more into those in future videos for now I want to keep talking about the HUD here in the lower right hand corner you're gonna see the point counter this is very important because in Halo Reach or other Halo games you're typically playing to 50 points in a, a traditional Slayer game type 
Not here. Here we're playing to points. It's very different. You get 10 points for a kill, 5 points for an assist, and I think you get some points for sprees and other other events. Um, you know, I'm going to have to tell you a little later on exactly what the points are and how you earn them. But needless to say, it's not simply uh, picking up uh, a certain number of kills. You're playing to a specific number of points, okay? That's very important to keep in mind. Um, and I'm going to get a little bit more into that later. Let's see what else. Uh, you know, if you just picked up the game like I did, uh, you haven't played it very much, you're still trying to figure out, you know, get your bearings. Uh, one overall tip that you have to keep in mind is that on a new map, you're always best off trying to stick with the highest ground possible. If you can find just the highest elevation, you're going to have a lot of excellent visibility points. You're going to be able to look down and shoot down at your enemies, and you're probably also going to be able to retreat if necessary. So try to maintain uh, the high ground on any map, especially if you're not familiar with what's going on. That's kind of just kind of a general tip. Uh, the other thing that I'll point out that you don't see on the display here, but is available to you, and that is the sprint option, okay? Uh, the sprint option is available to you seemingly uh, any time. Now, I haven't played a lot of different games and game types, but here in the just the Infinity Slayer that I'm playing, although you don't see a sprint icon, the sprint is available. And in fact, it appears that sprint is going to be available in addition to uh, other specific loadouts. So, for example, you'll have sprint and then any other loadout that you choose. So you may have sprint and hologram, sprint and jetpack, uh, sprint and any other loadout like that little like armor shield that comes up. Um, so you don't have like a little icon showing you how much sprint you have left, but you do have sprint available to you. So make sure that you're using that ability throughout the game in addition to any other abilities that you may have. Okay, so that's very, very important to keep in mind. A um, couple other things I want to point out. Uh, not, nothing uh, really huge, but uh, just for your information, you, you may find this helpful. Uh, when you're scoped in, if you're getting shot at, you, you do not automatically scope out. And that kind of threw me off a little bit in my first couple games because, uh, you know, if I'm scoped in, typically when I get shot, you'll, you'll scope out. And that's kind of an alert to you that you're getting shot. Uh, there's a couple times where I was scoped in, I got shot, I didn't realize it, and I was killed. I didn't even realize I was being shot, but I was killed so fast and I didn't unscope. That's something to keep in mind, especially if you have the sniper. You're going to be able to take that extra second or half second to line up that shot because even if you're getting shot while you're sniping, you're not going to come out of the scope. You're going to be able to line up that shot and take him down. So that's something very important to keep in mind. Uh, another thing to keep in mind, there is no friendly fire in this game, uh, at least as far as I can tell. So you don't have to worry about betraying your teammates accidentally or having uh, your teammates betray you. Uh, so that's uh, everything I've got for you so far today. We're running out of time, but uh, hope I've been able to give you a couple introductory tips and tricks that are going to help you jump right into the multiplayer and hit the ground with, uh, you know, just hit the ground running, start winning more games right away. Uh, please uh, make sure that you've subscribed to have a lot more tips to come. Uh, please add this video to your favorites. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Please let me know uh, what kind of tips you're looking for in the future. This is Halo 4 Tutor. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.